There are clear skies over the Carolina coast, but flooding remains the big issue. Ohio Task Force One still on the ground. They're doing whatever they can to help. Two News reporter Dana Smith joins us now with a follow-up on the great work they continue to do. Water rescues and evacuations continue down in the Carolinas, where Florence's presence is still felt. Florence made landfall almost exactly one week ago. As residents begin the slow process of picking up the pieces, flooding continues to swallow neighborhoods and claim lives. A few days ago, I think uh, last Saturday or so, we were in the river and it was about nine, almost nine feet, and it, we're up above 24 feet right now. We haven't crested. That's obviously creating a lot of flooding around the banks of the river. Task Force leader Jack Reel is in Lenore County, North Carolina. He said although the rain has stopped, the flooding continues as nearby rivers swell. A lot of areas where people are isolated, they've uh, stayed in their homes uh, because they're on high ground. Uh, unfortunately, they can't get in or out, uh, either due to the depth of the water or the speed at which it's flowing. He said they've been doing a lot of water rescues and supply deliveries. And although the rising water presents a deadly risk, it's not just the swift currents that are dangerous. Yeah, you know, the flooding's bad, but it also is pretty toxic. I mean, it's carrying a lot of, a lot of uh, hazards in it, biohazards. Uh, water's uh, pretty nasty. We've got to make sure we keep, uh, keep everything clean so that nobody gets sick from it. Um, certainly, this area is going to have a lot of uh, work to do to recover from it. Although Reel's team will remain on the ground for as long as necessary, a second Ohio Task Force One team is on its way back to the Miami Valley. Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.